we talked this morning about the threats uh, and then the opportunities, and you might argue that this disruption has led uh, to some threats or amazing business opportunities, but they were disruptive for others. But how can um, this technology, this digital disruption and those collaborative technologies, how can it help you in your business? Because something strange is happening, actually. Um, Oliver was a pretty smart guy, and he was a writer, and he wrote this, this quote, at the turn of last century. So he's no longer with us. Um, but he already figured out that over 100 years ago, that if you want to drive innovation, you need to work together, you need to collaborate. And I already showed you on the previous slide, there's a massive explosion in devices that we uh, uh, have accumulated. So we're in that right now we're in 2015, there are 25 billion connected devices. Um, and the prediction that is that we will go to, um, uh, to uh, 50 billion devices. So, and I think everybody knows right now, you have your smartphone, your iPad, and your connected laptop, and maybe your smartwatch. Um, and while we've seen this massive investment in all of these devices, there's still a little bit of a problem. And it's called the productivity paradox, because our overall productivity hasn't really increased. And we found that amazingly, we, we found that amazing, and we found that very interesting. So the average person right now, so um, more than half of the people have more than two work streams simultaneously during the week, and, it's almost, uh, and, and, and almost a third has, has, has have more than five work streams. Meaning work is not, not linear anymore, and it's uh, coming from all angles. And you probably recognize that it's people are no lo longer doing a single task. And also what we found, and that's on the right-hand side, is that collaboration be is, has become much, much more important. So the, the question is, how many, uh, the question was, how many of you work on a daily, weekly, monthly basis with colleagues on your team? And 76% works with their colleagues on a daily basis. So how do you interact with them? And we'll get to that on the next slide. Um, but what's also really interesting is that people more and more are collaborating with different teams and different business units. So it's outside that room, it's, it's outside uh, maybe even a, a the, the same physical location or uh, physical uh, office location. And there's an increasing amount of uh, cooperation with agency suppliers and contractors. So collaboration across the company parameter uh, and, and collaboration outside of the company. Um, remember in the beginning I showed you those logos about digital disruption uh, and ended with a very popular media company um, that is not an official reference, so therefore it's not on this slide. Um, and in 2013, they asked us to um, uh, help us with the, all our analytical tools uh, and to show them the Dropbox usage. That's on the left-hand side. Uh, and how are they collaborating and how are they using Dropbox internally into that company? So there was a good sizable um, amount of collaboration and Dropbox usage. And at the end of 2013, they approached us and a couple of other vendors in the space and they said, hey, we're thinking of onboarding a, an official file sync and share and collaboration solution um, uh, for the company. Can you provide us with some license keys and we'll let our employees decide which one is best. So of course, they chose us, otherwise I wouldn't have used the slide. But what's, I think what's more interesting is that in a, in a year, um, uh, the, the graph on the right-hand side is, is what is the collaboration, that same analytical tool that shows the collaboration that happens inside that company. There's an explosion of collaboration. And that's people communicating, collaborating together and driving innovation. Um, this is another example, uh, National, Geographic, Gra National Geographic. If there's one company um, who uh, uh, is working uh, in remote uh, and very challenging uh, uh, circumstances, then it is National Geographic. So this is an example of uh, somebody on the bottom of the ocean uh, uh, photograph photogra photographing fish but they're on the polar caps, they are everywhere in the world. And most of the uh, photographers and video uh, people are freelance uh, folks. And, in, and um, before they used uh, a solution like ours, what would happen is they would uh, ask the photographers to send film and then later the mem memory, <coughs> memory sticks and memory cards by courier uh, to the head office. And that took weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, things got lost in the mail. Um, and they've been able to um, uh, increase their time to market by, uh, uh, by, uh, by at least six weeks uh, for every publication. You mentioned the, the company I used to work for. That was Google, I know. What did you bring along from Google to Dropbox? 
Nothing, of course. <laughs> Nothing, of course. <laughs> but coming it from the... Uh, was a certain clause <laughs> in my contract. Uh, this is being taped. That's why he won't tell. No, uh, when we speak about culture, so what did you actually bring from Google in your head when you came to Dropbox? Was it very different or did you, uh, was it like, okay, I'm home just in a different place? Actually, the, I think the culture is quite similar, although we're, we're in a completely different uh, phase and stage. So when I joined Dropbox, we were with, I think it took 700 people. Uh, we're now slightly over 1,200 people in a year's time. So th it's incredible growth uh, in just a year's time. Um, but I don't know how many employees Google has nowadays. I stopped following, but I think it's like mm -hmm. 60,000. So mm -hmm. on the scale, it's completely different. But th um, I think in, in the core, it's, it's similar. It's an engineering uh, uh, company with uh, looking for, in, uh, for innovation. It's an analytical company. We do a lot of testing and A-B testing. We, we launch a new product to a very limited subset of our audience and see if it works. And if it works, we, we try to improve it. So there are a lot of similarities, but I think it's a different uh, stage and phase. As you mentioned, uh, Dropbox has grown at a dizzying pace, I would almost say. Mm -hmm. Being a competitor to Google, both you and Google share uh, some characteristics. For example, you, you like to give th things away for free. Um, why is that a good strategy? I think we are similar in that aspect, but also a little bit different. What is similar is that w for us, what's important is, is building this network of 400 million users. And every one in three new Dropbox users joins because somebody else has shared a file or a folder with them. And that's called the network effect. So uh, we want to encourage people to come onto the network and that propels us forward. Uh, and, it's, and, and, and our free product has certain limitations, size being one of them, unless you want to sign up everybody in your family. Um, uh, at some point you'll reach a point where you say, hey, this is so good, I want to store all of my information. And then usually people convert to a pro version. That's why I... I I chose this quote, there's, uh, nothing, there's no such thing as a free lunch by Milton Friedman. And the reason I ask is, of course, when you give something for free, they get hungry for more, I guess. Mm -hmm. But what can ev everybody else learn from that strategy if they don't sell cloud service or something? What, what is behind this thinking? Well, I think that, I mean, there's no such thing as a free lunch. That I think that has a slightly different connotation. But the freemium model is, uh, and, and I think a lot of these companies that I also showed and that you mentioned before as well, um, they do understand that you have, that oftentimes you have to give something before you can get something. Mm -hmm. And you have to prove the trust, you have to prove your value. Um, and if you, 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 you um, yeah, if people trust you, they'll also trust you with their wallet. 